Welcome back to Spinning the Past. Today I am processing my flax. It got blown down during a storm, end of June. Was near to being pulled, but not quite. I did not ripple these. I'm just going to let, there's hardly any. It's little premature to have picked, but I just picked it anyways because it was blown over. Anyway, so as you could see, I just filled up baby pools. I got two baby pools here, divided the flax that I had dried out. I'm putting it in here. I got some water. I'm weighing it down. So we, all that stuff is underwater. You can see some of that. I'm going to have to put that under under the weights here. I need to put some more water in here, more water in there. And then we let Mother Nature do its job. And that will take a couple of days. Anywhere from three days to about seven days. My experience is that the warmer this water gets, the quicker it will ret. Retting is just rotting this outer, this outer bit here. Inside here is where I is the flax fiber, but it's stuck to this outer thing. So once I rot this outer part, then the inner fibers will emerge and that's just a beautiful sight so i just want to show you even if you live in the city even if you have little acreage anybody can grow flax this is my 12th year growing flax it's not a not a big deal do this every year i've had good luck with the baby pools um yeah so again so i pulled this end of june then it dried for several weeks. I dried it out in a dry place. Then I put it in the water. Now it's going to rot or ret for anywhere from three days to seven days to ten days, depending when it's ready. You just need to go out every day and test. That tells you when it's ready. There is no date that I can set on that. It really depends year to year. Then I will take this out, kind of rinse it off because it's got a film on it. Then I will put it out and I will dry, let it air dry. Dry, 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 dry. Then I will do the next process, which is to put on a flax break and get the outer, this outer part off from the flax fibers underneath. So we still have a couple more stages before this becomes usable for spinning and using. So I hope this has been helpful and I will catch you next time on Spinning the Past.